Today, we're talking about something a little different. And I'm Dave from TVR Creators, and I tend to make videos on the best cameras for creators and hobbyists. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Here she is in all her glory. This is probably the oldest camera I have. I bought this online about a year ago. And you, some of you may have seen the video I made a few months ago about this camera, where I look inside it and all that sort of jazz. I will leave a link to that throughout the video. But I just thought I'd share a few sort of thoughts on this camera. If you have a brownie box camera or any camera similar to this, feel free to share your stories in the comments below. I'll just be really interested to sort of hear your stories and feel free to add anything to it. But this, I don't know, just think about this camera. My granddad had a camera very similar to this and I just thought it'd be really cool to have one. And I love the fact that you can turn it both ways and it will take both horizontal and vertical shots. You used to have to open it up, put the film inside and boom, off you go. And for those of you that may or may not know, though I'm sure plenty of you do, it would pr you would get those little nice little black and white photos because that's just how, how it did it. Uh, but I just love the fact that you could, you got the viewfinder, you, you can just about see what you're doing. <laughs> You've got the viewfinder on both sides, which is really cool. So you can sort of see horizontal or vertically see what you're doing which is really nifty something i really like about this camera and it's really old school i must admit i've not bothered trying to mess with it i'm not going to open up today because i'm out and about and i don't want to break it um i'll try and throw some some b-roll in for you but i just thought it's really cool i like the fact that you would take the picture you would turn to the next film and then you would just sort of bam and off it went uh, it was just really cool when you would sort of hit that little switch and I don't know it's just really cool I love the fact how much cameras have really came on since cameras like this and you're talking obviously like you know 60 70 80 years ago since these sort of cameras were around but I just think I don't know it's just a piece of history you know a piece of history that we shouldn't take for granted and how far cameras are gone I love the fact that this still has features that even my modern mirrorless cameras have with the viewfinder and whatnot it's still mad to think that even in this day and age we still have the basic features of a camera you know with the lens and the rest of it is is all very much apparent in new cameras that's something that I think is just really cool about this and if you're getting value, don't forget to like and subscribe. And feel free to check out my blog or buy us a coffee. Link to that in the description below. And one little last little thought. You know what? This camera is a legend. And in a moment, I'm going to leave you two end cards. They're going to bring you even more value. I might even leave the video where I look deeper dive into this video for those of you that have not seen that video. Thank you so much for watching. And you know what? I'll see you in the next video. Why? Because you guys rock.